before I was an Avenger. Before I got this family. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. Uh, so I saw the movie. Congrats. Uh, it's been a, a, a long wait until the release of the movie. Did you but like I was, it? I, I really enjoyed it. I, actually, it was it was kind of surprising in a way because, I mean, it, it, it was at times like surprisingly intimate affair. Uh, mm. You know, just a few actors just interacting for like yeah. long portions of the movie. Yeah, that was yeah. that was kind of unexpected. Yeah, I, th- I think exactly that. I think the, the, you know, because that's Kate. Kate deals with, you watch her other movies, they're, 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 they're small, intimate movies where there's huge tension and drama and pace, but it's between characters. It's about character dynamics. And, and so that was maybe one of the things I enjoyed most is that, you know, a lot of my scenes were about that. It was about the intricacies of relationships and, and negotiating the, you know, where people are. And negotiating ambiguous relationships, I think, was one of the, the favorite mm. things about it. Yeah, actually, that's what I wanted to ask because um, uh, Scarlet Black Widow is, you know, one of the found of the original uh, iconic characters of the MCU, and you seem to have in the movie a kind of, uh, you know, a shared history that's kind of not easy to pinpoint exactly. So, you know, uh, tell me about your collaboration. How did you achieve this this energy between you? Well, I mean, obviously, like there's a bunch of work that's done outside, but then we got together in a room and we started, you know, chatting out. You know, and and Kate was great in kind of like directing that conversation and and figuring it all out. So yeah, so it was a kind of good, good combination of like homework and then getting together and like talking it through. And then obviously Eric, our writer, our brilliant writer, helped us out a lot as well. What was your favorite? Uh, you know, you have a favorite moment of working with uh, Scarlett and working in the movie that you can share. Um, I, I guess. Uh, my favorite I think really I mean like all, all of it was great I, I I particularly remember like our first day of rehearsals and she kind of just came in and she does this energy and she's talking about something that's going on in her day or whatever and uh and just just going oh wow you're really just like a lovely person like you're just like a cool person you know like I don't know you don't know if those A-listers are going to be like you know what I mean idiots mm. and she wasn't she was lovely she was like <laughs> you know so that was really nice My girls are the toughest girls in the world. I'm sorry. We had our orders and we played our roles. It wasn't real. In case, you know, if there's a future for you, like what like what hero would you like to play against next, perhaps? Do you have like a favorite? Um, I don't know. I mean, I definitely I think that you know the, the black Panthers are more. I mean, I'd have to go most importantly down the list of the ones that don't have a bunch of superpowers and could, you know, like, because mm. those are the ones I want to be able to help out them. If you can fly somewhere, you probably don't need my plane. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Right. Um, and, you know, I also wanted to ask uh, I, I don't know if you were a fan of the universe before you joined, but I was wondering what's your take? You know, why do you think? what do you think the secret of the success is like why why you know for more than a decade now people seem so into these kind of movies well you know what the the, the stories of the the high jinx of the gods has been going on from the yoruba pantheon of gods to the greek and romans it, it's something that we've always had this idea of supermen supermen and women these and these deities these demigods and i think something about uh, we're a very aspirational species right you know most species develop through come some kind of unconscious evolution yet we strive for growth and expansion and invention and so i think a natural part of that is that we have somewhere in our psyche and our subconscious an idea of the superman the superwoman and, and i think it speaks to that cool okay thank you so much and uh i hope we get to enjoy you again in future Marvel Ah, thanks a lot, man.